What is going on guys? It's the Power Bar 2 here. I recently made a video about who I believe will be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which you should totally go watch if you haven't seen it, shameless plug, shameless plug, and I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about certain characters that I didn't include and why I didn't include them. Obviously, I could be wrong about this list, but I do have valid reasons for each character on this list and why I don't think they will be in the game. Also, recently people have brought up the fact that Sakurai may have hinted at King K. Rool in the E3 presentation and have provided evidence that he may have hinted at Skull Kid in the recent Smash Direct. I just thought that I would mention that because I didn't mention it in my previous video, but I did say that Skull Kid would be playable, so I mean, if he did hint at it, I'm a genius. But with all this out of the way, let's get into the characters that will not be playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. First off, we have Tails. I previously stated that Shadow will be an Echo Fighter for Sonic, and the only other option would be Tails. This was because Knuckles was shown as an assist trophy in the new games, but they haven't shown Shadow's assist trophy yet, so I think Shadow could easily be an Echo Fighter for Sonic because their moves would translate super well. However, I don't think Tails would really make any sense as an Echo Fighter for Sonic. Their movesets would not translate very well because they're not super similar, and I think they would need to create him as an entirely new character if he was actually playable, which I don't think is likely. I could see Tails as an assist trophy so we could have Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all in the game, but nothing more than that. Birdo. Yeah, I know most people don't think she will be playable, but I just had to make it clear that she will not be playable in this game. The only way Birdo could make it in would possibly be an Echo Fighter for Yoshi, but that wouldn't really make much sense. The egg mechanic wouldn't translate super well because she would have to either suck them in and shoot them out of her nose or snout or actually what the f is that thing? She would have to shoot them out of her face hole, which I don't think is likely. Next we have Steve. Yeah, I don't know why people actually think he will be playable in this game. Yes, he's a very iconic character from one of the biggest games in the last decade, but can you really see him in the game? Like, there are some characters that you can just picture fighting at Smash Bros, like King K. Rool. That was one that I literally could just see playing, and then he was revealed. It just works perfectly. But Steve doesn't really give that aura. His moves, I guess, could be based off certain tools he uses, like his axe, sword, or even shovel. But what the hell would his final smash even be? Plus, if they're gonna have him use his shovel, why wouldn't they have just put Shovel Knight in? I mean, they put him in as an assist trophy, but they wouldn't make him playable. I would much rather have Shovel Knight than Steve, and I think a lot of you probably would too. But we already know Shovel Knight's not playable, so... Steve will not be playable, as far as I am concerned. Ukulele will not be playable. I know it's a very recent game, and it does have its fans, but I think if they're gonna add a duo character, it will be Banjo and Kazooie. I know they are owned by Rare, but Rare has said that they are willing to work with Nintendo for Smash Bros. So I mean, it is possible, I even did mention them as an honorable mention in my previous video. I still don't think Banjo and Kazooie are the most likely, I mean I would love them, I played that game so much as a kid. I still don't think they're very likely, but they are much more likely than Ukulele, in my opinion. Next we have Toad. Toad is very popular and is playable in so many Mario games, but I just can't see him as a fighter. We already have so many Mario reps, which makes sense because it's Nintendo's biggest franchise, but I just don't think he would fit very well in the game. If any of you are old enough, you probably remember the big rumor that Toad was an unlockable character in Melee, and so many people fell for it, even though it was really obviously fake. I'm sure people would love for him to be in the game, but I just don't think he will be. I know I'm going to receive a lot of hate for this one, but before you dislike the video, please hear me out. I don't think Shantae will be playable, at least in the initial roster. I know she has lots of fans who want her to be in the game, but I just don't think Sakurai considers her popular enough to be in the game. However, I do think she has a chance if Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has DLC in the future. She could get in that way in my opinion, but that is the only way. She will not be playable when the game releases. Crash Bandicoot won't be playable either. With the recent release of the Insane Trilogy on the Switch, many people thought that he could have a chance to be a fighter. But I really don't see it. Yes, he's an iconic character, but he's not an iconic Nintendo character. And yes, I know we have Sonic, Cloud, and Ryu, but I think they are all more popular than Crash. Again, this is another fighter that could possibly be DLC, but not as likely as Shantae. Crash won't be playable when the game releases, at least for sure. Now, if you don't know, I am a huge Paper Mario fan. The Thousand Year Door is my favorite game of all time, and I do plan to make a video on why Color Splash is underrated. But, as much as I would love it, I don't think Paper Mario will be playable. His moveset could be amazing with all of his items from his games and maybe even his companions, but with all the backlash from the recent games and the overabundance of Mario characters, I don't think he will be playable. I mean, this would give us three different Marios, and although this one could be much different than the other two, I think it would be too much. And before you say, oh, but there's three Links, so why can't there be three Marios? That is a fair point because I think that there doesn't need to be three Links anyway, but I do understand why they are all here. But that doesn't change the fact that Paper Mario won't be playable. Next, we have Rex from Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I know Xenoblade is a pretty popular and recent franchise, but I don't think Rex is Rexonizable enough. Get it? Sorry, that was a terrible joke. Shulk made sense being from the first game, but I don't really think that we need two Xenoblade Chronicles characters. Again, I could be wrong about this, it's just not that probable to me. I mean, maybe he could be a tag team with Pyra, but I just don't think it's too likely. And lastly, I know this is obvious and probably doesn't need to be said, 
but Waluigi will not be playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I know I said that I wanted him to be playable in my previous video, but so many people took that as I expected him to be in the game. I mean, we saw his damn assist trophy, so of course he's not going to be playable. Sakurai could switch it up on us, but is that really likely? Waluigi is basically a meme at this point, and even though he is my second favorite Mario character behind only Yoshi, there is no way he will be playable unless Sakurai caves in the fan pressure, which that just won't happen. All of you Waluigi apologists can calm down now and just accept the fact that he won't be playable in this game. So, those are 10 characters that will not be playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Do you agree with my list? Or have you come from the future and are here to tell me that I got all of these wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and share this video with anybody you think would enjoy it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>